The first step for measurement using a portable pH meter is calibrating the meter using pH 4 and pH 7 buffers. These are also called pH calibrants. The procedure shown here is similar on most handheld meters. After rinsing the probe, the pH meter is put in calibrate mode, here with a single press of the cal button. Then, the pH meter is immersed in the first buffer. For many pH meters, this is the pH 7 or neutral buffer. When the reading stabilizes, it indicates this, here with the word end. After rinsing, if we then press the cal button again, the meter will wait for another buffer and will automatically detect the 4 buffer the pH 4 buffer. When this stabilizes, the meter is calibrated at two pH points, pH 4 and pH 7. Then, a 2 to 1 volume to weight suspension of soil in water is made. In this case, we are mixing 20 milliliters of water with 10 grams of soil. We could also use 40 milliliters of water and 20 grams soil. In addition, field moist soil could also be used. Soil pH is fairly equivalent between moist and air dried soil. The soil should be swirled for at least 30 seconds and up to 1 minute. Then, the soil water mixture can be left to equilibrate for at least one minute. During this time, additional soil samples can be prepared for measurement. After at least one minute equilibration, measure the soil pH with the calibrated probe. There will be drifting of the pH at first, but the goal is to measure the pH to the nearest 0.1 unit or one tenth of pH unit without more than one tenth of unit variation in 30 seconds. You can move the probe gently as you measure or alternate moving the probe and holding it still to read it. Some pH meters will stop the blinking numbers on the display to indicate when the reading is stable. Once you are satisfied that you have a stable reading, you can note the reading to the nearest 0 0.05 or 0 0.1 pH unit. In this case, we might read the pH as 6.86 .6 or just 6.9. Then, the probe is rinsed and placed back in the storage area. The rinse bucket is often a reasonably convenient place to put the probe since it will have a pH and solution strength relatively close to the soil samples being read. Here is the same soil suspension read with a strip of pH indicator paper. If we compare the colors to the key on the pH paper box, we can see that it is reading about one half to 0.9 pH unit lower than the meter. This seems to be generally true of pH indicator strips that they read lower than pH meters.